Welcome to this week's Lauren's House Reading Corner. I'm Monique and today we will be reading um, from the indescribable 100 Devotions About God and Science by Louis Giglio. Shout out to Louis. This is his fave book. Let's begin. The Wow Factor. In all the works you are doing, work the best you can. Work as if you were working for the Lord, not for man. Colossians 3, 23. Pull, put down this book just for a moment and take a look outside the window. It's kind of dark here now. It says, whether you're in the country or the city, whether it's night or day, God's creation is all around you. There are the big, huge, indescribably amazing things like the sun and the moon, the Milky Way, and the billion, gajillion out other wonders of the universe. And then there are the massive wonders of this earth, like soaring mountains, rolling seas, and roaring lions. God has certainly created some incredible and incredibly big things. But today, take a look at the little things. Examine the leaf on the tree, the delicate wings on a butterfly, or the perfection of a spider's web. Look, lift up your hands and trace the ridges of your fingerprint, a fingerprint that God has gave you and you alone. Our God doesn't just wow with the biggest things of his creation. He also wows with his attentions he gives to even the littlest things. And God wants you to do the same thing. God is an excellent creator and you can honor him by doing everything in life with excellence. Don't just give your efforts on the big projects, the big games, and the big tests. Don't work hard only when someone else is watching. Give it your all, even in the ordinary everyday stuff, from cleaning your room to riding to the beach, riding the bench at the at the the ball game. Do your very best in all things, even when no one else notices, because God notices. Do all things for God because your honor. Your work honors him. That's what God calls being faithful in the little things. And when you're faithful in the little things, God knows he can trust you with the big things too. Luke 16, 10. And it says, Lord, help me honor you in the ways I serve you in all things, big and little, as well as those things no one else ever notices. Thank you, God, for your attention to both the big and small. Be amazed. Here are some fascinating facts Butterfly facts. Butterflies taste with their feet. I didn't know that. A group of butterfly is called a kaleidoscope. The, sip, uh, the skippery butterfly is so fast, it can outpace a horse. Wow. And here's a gross one. Many adult butterflies never poop. They use everything they eat for energy. And that's a butterfly on her head. All right. Thank you for joining us this week. We'll see you again next week.